A chilly start for some of us heading out the door early this morning. 38 right now up here, 36 in Flint, 47 in Mount Clemens, 48 right now working into Pontiac, 49 at Metro Airport, and 43 right now working over into Ann Arbor. It is going to be a little breezy today. This morning, sustained winds less than 10 miles an hour for everyone, but thanks to Ian and high pressure off to the west, it's going to get a little breezy heading into this afternoon. There's the leading edge of that cloud shield from Port Huron down through Metro Detroit toward Toledo and a good chunk of Ohio. That's also going to give us the breezy winds today. High pressure off to the north and west and that center of circulation from Ian well off to the south and east. That's going to funnel in a northeasterly wind right into southeastern Michigan this morning. So expect winds gusting of 20 to 25 miles an hour heading throughout the day. But we stay dry this weekend before our next chance of rain moves in by the middle of next week. Expect cloud cover to increase as we head throughout our Wednesday by 11 o'clock at night. We'll go mostly cloudy and that rain moves into most of the state Thursday morning and into Thursday afternoon. This is 5 o'clock Thursday evening. Some moderate rain possible as we're heading home from work and school by Thursday afternoon. That frontal boundary pulls off to the east and I do think we dry things out by Friday morning. Maybe an isolated shower early, but we've got another drop in temperatures on the way heading into the end of next week as well. 40s early this morning, warming into the low end of the 60s by lunchtime. We'll head for the upper 60s with that filtered sunshine and breezy winds heading into this afternoon. Tomorrow for the Lions game, that 1 o'clock kickoff over at Ford Field. Tailgating in the morning will be into the upper 50s by 11 o'clock. We'll keep some of that cloud cover around before cool temperatures and some sunshine move in as we head into the afternoon. High pressure builds back in for the first half of next week, and it also brings a warming trend. Upper 60s by Tuesday, right around 70 by Wednesday, before that next chance of rain moves in by Thursday. And once that front rolls through, we're into the 50s by Friday, and dare I say, frost may be possible by early next Saturday morning.